नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट मेक इन इंडिया कैंपियन एंड वी आर जस्ट कंप्लीटिंग द फुल सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट कोर्स इन विच वी आर कंप्लीटिंग द चैप्टर टू द नेम डिजाइनिंग द सप्लाई चेन नेटवर्क सो यू नो डिजाइनिंग द सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट नेटवर्क इज दैट द लोकेशन ऑफ द रिटेलर लोकेशन ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर एंड द लोकेशन ऑफ द wholesaler need to be selected in right location so that the movement of supply chain will perform in right way okay so this is the session in which we are going to complete e business and its impact so what is e business e business is the online business on which anybody can buy and sell and place order online okay so as per definition e commerce business may operate exclusive online or they may have physical present as well okay so e commerce not only the online but also the physical presence as well okay some example of e commerce business is including online retailers subscription services digital marketing place okay and b2b companies that sell product or service to other businesses so you know nowadays all the product available online okay so these are the e business the help of e business anybody can place the order from anywhere okay so by this e businesses the customer will get competitive rate and better product okay so we can say there are e e businesses like uh, by help of the online shopping platform sell the product okay it may also be your own uh, online business or online platform or you can align with the someone jaise flipkart Uh, Amazon and other. Okay, so the selling product through online is e-business. Okay, and what are the advantage of this? Advantage is a worldwide presence. Okay, so worldwidely your project, uh, your pro product will available worldwidely. Your product prices can seen by all over the world, and anybody can place the order for your product. okay so e business is very important nowadays in general business you know the physical presence of the product customer need to reach at the shopkeepers and then buy but in e business customer can place the order from his house okay now cost effective marketing and promotions so cost effective marketing also you know uh, now the e business you have seen that uh, the promotion of the product is very easily and very cheaply you can promote your product like uh, on you you may see on the youtube and other facebook the ads run on that videos okay so the ads will so uh, these ads are very uh, low prices okay very cost improving uh, ads okay they will help to bring the awareness with the customer about your product okay so this ad nowadays uh, very easily can be access and the ad will show the respective person who take interest in such product okay by the um, the research, by the searching of the help of this particular customer they can find out the customer is interested in this then the ad only go to this particular person okay so you can see the marketing and promotion is very cost effective nowadays now developing a competitive strategy okay if you have product this uh, on online available then you may develop a competitive strategy like a uh, if your product are uh, uh, quite good then 
people will like your product okay because at the uh, without e business or without uh, offline business customer need to visit your shop but in in online customer can place the order from his uh, his in her own locations so the developing a competitive strategy is that you can un, uh, un, arrange the uh, supply chain of that particular way and people can access your product okay now bet better customer service online uh, presence you can see there are a lot of options okay like uh, your product reach uh, damage on the way then in such cases customer can complain from online there is no need to physical visit of the customer so easily they can get refund online okay and once they request the system is so automated the refund will receive in the customer account so by uh, by giving the value added services and goodwills you your business will improve okay now there are some disadvantage also for the e-commerce e business which are these the disadvantage of the e business are described below sectoral limitations okay so the lack of growth in some some of the sector can be accounted of the product uh, are the sector limitations like a food okay in the food case the e business is a uh, not uh, easy okay because that the product is perishable so it, it is not uh, work right or uh, in rightly perform okay so you know uh, you have seen that um, you may seen that the curd and milk and such kind of product are physically supply okay not e, e business okay so this in this sector business e business is not impact okay now a second one is the substantial resources required for the refining product lines order line and sell okay substantial uh, resources are required to redefining product line okay in order to sell online so you know uh, that uh, different different of uh, resources they require like a a uh, lot of uh, anybody customer can order any product so you need to resource such different different of product for the customer requirement so the disadvantage are the two but the advantage are much so this uh, advantage and disadvantage will um, explaining here that this product uh, this e business and its impacts are uh, very important nowadays we can say uh this is uh, the growing sector e business is a growing sector and you can join this and <clears throat> definitely you improve your business so guys today in this session we have tried to understand the e business and its impact so thanks for watching the session have a nice day